Maggie DeRogers with your news in 90. With temperatures dropping to freezing in Hawthorne, farmers are worried their crops may not make it through the season. Although strawberries are typically winter crops, the colder than normal temperatures can delay their growth and may lead to permanent damage. Farmers are doing everything they can to ensure their crops don't freeze over. They are dousing their plants in water and covering them in blankets to try to prevent a freeze. Farmers feel that they are running out of options. Freezing temperatures are expected at the end of the week and if the crops don't survive, farmers may face a devastating financial impact. The Weather Service is investigating a possible tornado that touched down in Lake County, Florida this morning. At least nine homes were affected in this storm. The Tuscanooga Baptist Church was also damaged. Trees fell and debris was thrown, but luckily no one was injured. Seminole County was also in the path of the storm and has faced damages as well. The people of Lake and Seminole counties are waiting for confirmation from the Weather Service about the nature of the storm. The Senate is voting for the first time since the shutdown over dueling bills. Neither of the bills have been passed as Republicans and Democrats cannot come to an agreement. The bills were put forward in an attempt to reopen the federal government shutdown that has lasted 34 days. The Republicans' bill would allocate $5.7 billion in funding for the wall in exchange for temporary protection for DACA recipients. The Democrats' bill would temporarily reopen the government for three weeks but does not include wall funding. Each bill needs 60 votes to pass and neither has made that mark. Now both sides must look for possible compromises in order to reopen the government. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.